Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Today is April 1st, 2019. It is going to be my outing number 46 of this year. And guess what? Huh? We are going to be doing something really cool in this video today, per the title of this video, right? So a lot of people tend to come here on the EPF channel and ask me, Leo, what is your favorite inline spinner, right? Inline spinners are these lures that are just so versatile and so good for multi-species angling and especially for trout fishing, which is what we're going to be doing today. If you folks watch my YouTube channel, you guys know that one of my favorites is the Pure Fishing Johnson Minnow Spin, right? I always joke about it, right? I'll be swinging my Johnson out there to catch fish, which is true, and I do catch fish on it. But if you guys are like long-time subscribers of this channel, you know that that is not like my number one favorite inline spinner, right? The one that I really like and like the most is actually the Thomas Fishing Yours EP Series Nickel Gold, okay, folks? I tend to use this lure one six of an ounce and one eighth of an ounce. I'm gonna open up one here right in front of you guys. What I really like about it is the is the uh, color on the blade. This is the EP series nickel gold. You see how half of the blade? I don't know how well you guys can see it, okay? But half of the blade is silver, and the other half of the blade is gold. It really resembles like a CP swing type of lure. But the difference is it's got a little orange bead on top, right? Let me tell you, I've been using this lure since 2011 and it has been slaying ever since, okay? This is a non-sponsored video. I just love the Thomas Fishing Lures. And in this video today, we will try to catch some stock trout from public bodies of water, right? With this lure right here. And I mean, who knows? Maybe even some other species are going to show up, right? So stay tuned. Today should be good. Let me get my ultralight setup set up here and let's lay. Oh, got a hit. That was 100% a hit. There's some fish around this area, which is good. Yeah, that was 100% a hit right under this tree branch right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, fish on. Oh, yeah. I told you guys, right under this tree, there was fish. That's our first trout of the day coming up right here on the spinner. Oh, yeah. Look, beauty, beauty, beauty. Look at the size. Look at the size of this fella too, beautiful. And they fight so much better when they bite on the spinner, let me tell you, that is great. I'll try to go down there to get this fish. If possible, I would like to release it. But yeah, that's a, that's a beauty right here. Okay, come over here, buddy. I'll try to release you over here. Yeah, that's awesome, see, I can get my Hands wet over here. Beautiful. First fish of the day on the inline spinner. I'm not going to take photos or anything. Hooked on the side of the mouth. I'm just gonna do quick unhook. There we have it, huh? And quick release. First fish of the day. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful, beautiful trout right there. Never know. Stop over here for oh my goodness, I had a bite. Fish on. <laughs> I stopped over here just to give one cast because I thought maybe there's some trout around the structure. And guess what? There was a trout right by that tree. Now how am I going to get down there to land this guy? Huh? Let me slide down here real quick. Let me tell you folks, it is not easy to land fish in this canal. It's very muddy. Very muddy. And it's a little bit high than usual. 
these trout are pretty sensitive so I don't want to hurt them too much wetting my hands make sure I do a nice release here oh this one's hooked right over there I think I got it I think I can get it oh my goodness this one may be a goner because they inhaled the EP series that's how juicy the EP series is this may be a goner see he ate all the way in and it is attached to the it's kind of bleeding a little bit look okay I'll take this fish home to eat okay because yeah That trout was that trout was ready to eat it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You just know there's gonna be some more around. This one's a small one. Wow, it's so tiny. So tiny. Okay. How I'm going to land this guy? I'm okay. This one's actually so tiny I can flip it out of the water and land it right over here. I don't want to wet my hands for the little fella. All right, okay, that's good. Oh, this is perfect, look at that. Just sit right on the trunk here. Oh yeah. Nowadays, folks, I really prefer to release my trout. You guys probably realize that from watching the channel, and that's because I got gout and hyperuricemia. Look how little this guy is, huh? I got gout and hyperuricemia, so I can't really eat fish that are high on purines because it creates a lot of uric acid in my body. And guess what? The trout is a species of fish that has a lot of purines in it. So I don't eat trout anymore. That's beautiful. Sometimes I will take it for my brother-in-law and my sister to eat. Otherwise, I really like to put them back. Thomas EP series working really good. I'm using the one six of an ounce right now. Nickel gold, like I told you guys. Second fish from this place, third fish from the canal. Let's fish some more, see what else is around. So far, I've explored this portion of the Delaware Canal. This is actually the portion, folks, that has a good population of largemouth bass, the Micropterus salmoides, and the chain pickerel, the Ezox Niger. The action was pretty slow for the trout, so I'm moving from this portion right here to this stretch. As you guys can see, right, this stretch, the water does flow from this side to the side, so they are connected. Now, I know for a fact that during the opening day, which was two days ago, they stocked this area right here with a few buckets pretty heavily. So let's go try a little bit over here and hopefully we're going to land some good quality trout. <laughs> There's what? Oh yeah. He's pretty hard on the spinner too. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Alright. Give a nice jump. Yeah, look at that, huh? It's running pretty good. Left and right. That's a beauty. It's a beautiful fish we got right here. Still got some Still got some strength left, huh? Hey, check it out now, folks. Yeah, there's a beautiful sample right here, side of the mouth. Thomas, working good today. Quick unhook. And look at that, huh? Oh, yeah. The beautiful fish under the water, huh? All right, fourth one of the day. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, okay. Oh, that was an egg. Oh man, someone's got chicken. Oh, that was a hit. 100% a hit. Come on, take a fish. The bite's been very finicky. These fish are very finicky right now. Probably being hammered over the weekend. If I was hammered over the weekend, I'd be finicky too. There one, there's one. Oh yeah, very finicky tap. Ah, no doubt, no doubt. 
road nice and easy all the way down <laughs> a little beauty right there look at that all right let me see where am i let's land it over there this one's actually pretty small i'm gonna walk it <sighs> yeah this one's actually a rather small one barely fought Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission always tries to do a good job, but once in a while you have one of these, right? Little chubby short fellas. Look at that. Hmm, I don't know about this. Okay, let's unhook this one real quick here. There we have it. Short <laughs> and fat. All right, you're good to go, buddy. Take your time. Yeah, all right. There it goes. There's, oh, oh man, dang son. Alright, All right, next one, next one. There's one. Oh yeah, not bad, not bad. Yeah, this one's fighting actually pretty good. Decent, decent. Decent fish. Yeah, look at that, huh? They are beautiful though, have to say. Think about stock trout. Beautiful fish. At this point, folks, theoretically speaking, I've already caught my limit. But uh, I'm still looking for that one trout around the area that is actually pretty decent. Haven't found it yet. Today's bite definitely been on fire on the spinner, so that is good. I've been working the canal up and down. Hopefully, right, that nice trout is going to show up. I know that they stock one or two here every year that is pretty decent. I'm actually amazed that there's quite a bunch of fish on the other side. Still getting... Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Decent. Decent. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's decent. Man, there's a bunch of fish over here. I'm glad that I came over here today instead of the penny pack. Oh, that's decent. This is this, oh, this a decent... Okay. A little bit better now. Okay, let me walk this guy. We're gonna land it over there. Yeah, I like this. Okay, if every trout was like this size, I would be a little bit happier around here. This size is actually good. Nice and fat. Yeah, look at that, huh? Sadly for me, this size over here is a good size for my area. It's like in the range of maybe 12, 13 maybe inches. I'm not I'm not going to measure it. Yeah, but this one definitely bit pretty good I just gonna let it go here Not really taking any today There's one there's one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Not bad, folks. Not bad. Not bad. I felt the full weight of this guy here. No, if it starts pulling drag here. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. What we got here? Oh, it's a chunky one. It's definitely a chunkier one. I want a photo with this one here. It's a little bit chunkier. Okay. You guys can see it coming up now. I mean, okay, maybe still on the bigger size of the fish that we have caught today, right? Okay, all right, let me land it over here as always. Yeah, son, that's what's up. That is what is up. Hooked on the, on the bottom of the mouth. Okay, and there we have it. Beautiful fish, huh? Look at this, huh, folks? Not bad on the side of the mouth. Let me unhook here real quick. 
Oh yeah. There we have it now. What a beauty. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, there's a beauty right there. There's one. All right. Not bad, not bad, man. These trout are on fire today. One after another. Been landing on the spinner here. What a beauty. Look at this. Each and every one of them, a beautiful fish. That's why every year, stock trout season, EPF will be out here catching some fish. Okay, okay, okay. Easy, easy, buddy. Easy. Oh my goodness, there we have it. Wow, hooked on the bottom of the mouth. Beautiful little guy. The sun is in your faces. I'm sorry about that, folks. I've been trying to work out the angles for the video today, but <laughs> what can I do, huh? Look at that, huh? Beautiful, beautiful fish. Man, we've been catching a lot. Of we've been slaying them out here today. And the, and the most beautiful thing is there's like nobody out here today. This is crazy. Not a bad day, huh, folks? Not a bad day of fishing out here at all. One thing that I didn't really mention in this video is that from yesterday to today, we actually had a cold front move in. This morning, 8 a.m., it was actually 33 degrees Fahrenheit with 10 to 15 miles per hour winds. So I was a little bit skeptical before shooting this video today, right? I wasn't so sure if the fish would be willing to cooperate with this video or not. But as you guys saw, I mean, we is laid the trout today. And look, folks, like I told you, this is a non-sponsored video. I decided to shoot this video because I like the lure. So if you have never tried the Thomas EP series, I usually get mine at Walmart. I don't even know if you can buy it online. Go out there and just give it a try, you know? I hope you guys enjoyed the video for today. I'll bring you guys some more trout videos and different techniques coming up soon. Thanks for watching Tide Lines and I'll see you guys next time. Man, kind of surface gave a few head shakes here. What type of catfish is this? Oh yeah, that's chunky catfish. That's what it is. Dang, dude. Dang. Bro, 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 dang, bro, dang, dude, holy macaroni, this may be my new pee, -pee catfish, holy cow, let's measure this guy.